Hello! Right, so here's my new drawing, or latest one. I have did the original sketch here on a bit of newsprint, and I've attached that sketch to a big glass drawing sheet that I use. And the glass is really handy, it's nice, it's tough and glass, so it's good and, good and firm, and it's a nice smooth surface to work on. It's just a bit of scrap glass, I think, that come from the, the tip. So, what I've done on top of that newsprint, I've taped over that my Bristol board, which is the final surface that I want to draw on, and then I've got my desk lamp behind that, so like a large, um, large light light box, and it's nice because the, the sheet of glass I've got easily fits an A3 sheet of paper on. And so with that combination, I can go through and use my 2H pencil just to go over again and mark the lines that I'm going to go and ink in on the final image. So that's what I'm just doing here. The 2H is quite a nice pencil used for this stage. So it's nice and light, and when it comes to doing my inking on this page. I don't get confused by the pencil lines that I've already put down. I can quite clearly see I've gone over with the ink because the, because the pencil's so light. Okay, so now with the pencils done on the sheet, I've taken the Bristol board that I'm going to finally draw on and attach that to my perspective acrylic sheet. And that sheet's nice and light here, it doesn't weigh so much, so it's much easier to work on. Um, sometimes I use this perspective sheet as the light box effect as well, but I quite like the weight of the glass and it's nice and nice and hard I'm working on. Right, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking my fine liner pen and I'm just going over all the all the pencil lines that I put in before the 2H. Just to, just to put them down. And then we're just finishing off after I fell off of shot for a little while there. And now, once those initial lines are down, I just use a kneaded eraser and uh, remove the, the pencil that I put down before. So now what I'm doing is just add a bit more line weight. This is just to help to emphasise certain parts of the picture. So around the outside of the subject, the facial features, eyes, nose, mouth, just trying to get them to pop out a bit more. Okay, so here, the final stage. I've uh, scanned the picture in of my A3 and printed it out on an A4 sheet. So I just reduced the size down because I was doing an experiment here. So I've got some really cheap pencils I got from the shops, some back to school range, some uh, Staedtler colour pencils, I think they are. And I'm just colouring the skin tone in. So I've got the basic skin tone and a dark orange inset. I've done some quite rough colouring here. Uh, 
these are really rough lines. It's, it's not as smooth like a train go from a graphite drawings. I'm just trying to lay in the areas of the tone. So what I wanted to do was try and blend these pencils together with this colourless marker, this uh, pro marker that I got. And it turned out to be pretty good. It does take quite a lot of effort to, to blend these pencils. But the effect was quite nice in the end. Um, I don't have enough marker pens to, to do this. I thought pencil might be the best other option. And for the top, I've gone for a sort of a purple colour. Again, I didn't really have the pens, the colour in the set colours I wanted in the set. So I've done a mixture of pink and purple here. And then used a bit of a blue to try and give some of the darker tones. So we put in there. And I was actually really quite pleased with the way this purple came out. And I found the different coloured pencils, the blue and the red and the purple, blended much easier together than the, the, the skin tones did. I just did the same approach here for the for the hair at the end, some browns and yellows in there. So that's my uh, latest picture. Uh, thank you for watching. I uh, hope it wasn't too painful. Bye bye.